What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to set up GraphQL subscriptions so that every time a new element is created, we get a push notification in our GraphQL client. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. On a previous video, we created a new project from scratch with Nest.js and we created a GraphQL server using this schema where we have videos, we have users, we have queries to get the list of existing videos and we have mutations. So I'm going to add a new type here to create subscriptions. So every time that we create a new video, we are going to send a new push notification to the clients. So first we need to install an additional library, npm install, dash dash save, and the name of the library is GraphQL subscriptions. Okay, now let's update the schema and let's add a new type for subscriptions. Type subscription and let's call it video added and we're going to pass a title when we subscribe to this event so we're going to add a filter and it's going to take this title as the input we're going to make this title required and we're going to return the video data as part of the push notification okay and as you remember we are using this script to generate the classes that are stored here and is taking the schema as the input i'm going to run this script again and we're going to see that we're going to have a new class here that is going to represent the subscription so I'm going to run TSC source slash generate typings.ts. This is going to transpile to a JavaScript file. Okay, this is the file here. And now I'm going to run that JavaScript file using node. Node source slash generate typings.js. Okay, and now if we go here to the GraphQL.ts file, we're going to see that we have a new class here that represents the subscription. Okay, and now we need to add a new resolver here. So every time that we create a new video, we are going to send a push notification. And we also need to add a method to create the subscriptions. So I'm going to call that method video added. And to handle the subscriptions and sending the push notifications, I need to add a new instance of PubSub. So I'm going to create a private property, PubSub. And I need to import that library, import class PubSub from GraphQL subscriptions. This is a library that we installed a few seconds ago. Okay, and here I'm going to create a new instance of this class. So I'm going to assign that value here. This that PubSub equals to new pops up okay and I'm going to use this pops up in two places here to publish the event that is going to trigger the push notification so I'm going to sign a name here that is going to be video added and I'm going to pass an object that is going to have an attribute video added and the value is going to be the video that we create here so i'm going to grab this from here i'm going to create a variable actually a constant video of type video it's going to be equals to that and here i'm going to assign the video here
and I'm going to return the video like this. And here again, I'm going to use that pops up class or that pops up instance. This that pops up. And here I need to use a special function that is async iterator. And this is going to allow me to map the subscription. So this is going to be video added. So I'm going to be subscribed to this event. And here I need to add the subscription decorator and I'm going to add a filter and I need to pass first the type that I'm going to return. That is going to be a video. And then I can add a filter here, filter. And this is going to receive a payload. The payload is going to be the object that I'm sending as part of the push notification and the title and sorry, and the variables that are the values that I'm going to receive as part of the subscription. In this case, the title. The title is this one. Let's go back. So this is actually a, a narrow function. I need to remove this. So this is payload that video added that title. So this is the video that is part of the push notification. And I'm going to compare this to variables that title, that is the title that I receive when I subscribe to this event. So if the title that I expect when I subscribe is equals to the video that is sent in the push notification, then I'm going to send that notification back to the client. Hopefully that makes sense. It's going to be better if I show you how it works. Before running the server, I need to go here to the module of the application. And here I need to assign through to a property called install subscription handlers. And this is true. Okay. And now I can run the server. Okay. Now let's try this in the playground. So I'm going to refresh this. And here I have a subscription where I'm receiving this title variable that I'm passing here as part of the query variables. And every time that a new video is created with this title, video one, I'm going to receive a push notification here. So I'm going to run this. And we're going to see that this is going to listen for push notifications. So if I go here and I run this mutation to create a new video, here I'm going to assign video one, user one, and let's change the URL. And if I run this, we're going to see that we get the push notification with the video data. And if I create a video, let's say with another identifier, video two, user two, we're going to see that we don't get any push notifications here. And if I create another video with video one, let's say, let's change this URL and the user ID, I don't know, three. If I run this, and if we go back here, we're going to see that we get another push notification from one second ago here. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.